What's up, YouTube, man? It's your boy Dre back with another banger, man. So, as you can see, man, in today's video, man, I'm gonna be doing well, I'm gonna just be replacing those sentences since I figured out what the names of them was. I'm gonna replace those sentences today. After I do that, I'm actually going to be changing the TPS. I'm going to be adjusting that because that's why the car was actually running actually very high idle and running very rich, is because I didn't have these cooling temperature sensors plugged in so it's probably not getting the right cooling temperature reading it's probably reading the wrong things that's what making the car run very rich and also another reason why i was running that hot idle is because the tps right here is supposed to be adjusted to 0.54 uh, millimeters i think on the on dc voltage so i'm going to show you how to do that as well i'm going to take this off because i've been taking this off a lot as well and not knowing that it's supposed to be adjusted to a certain amount so i'm going to actually loosen this up a little bit as well Take this off. I got a DMM as well, so I can show you how to set it up and do all that. You know, adjust that to get back to the right temp settings, so I can get the right back idle, idle back right on my car. Excuse me, so I can get that back right on the car, so it can sound a lot better and I'll run a lot better. So let me show you the pieces that I got. This is the DMM. You're gonna need. Got me some wire cutters. I got me some uh, shrink. Uh, yeah, some shrink shields, and then I got me some. This is the connector I'm gonna be placing on the side. This one. And this is the one in the front. Both of them are black, but I'm pretty sure the positive one is the one that has the words on it because one of them actually got words if you can see it. But it's very small. You probably can't even see the words on it. But they both are black wires, but one of them has words on one of them. So that should be the difference. So I'm going to just um, start it. I'm going to just put the one with the words on it to the positive and all black one to the negative because I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. And then... Yeah, I'm gonna go and get right to it. So I'm gonna set everything up and I'm gonna catch up when I'm done. All right, so now that I got everything set up, you're gonna need to get a T25 actually to loosen these up. So I ain't loosened it up yet, but I'm gonna loosen it up in a minute. You're gonna take your DMM. First, you're gonna set it to DC. DC bolts is gonna be this one right here. If you can see, it's gonna be set to that. But um, I'm gonna turn it off for now. You're gonna wanna set the positive one inside of here. My tube is actually in the way, but it's going to be in the top one where that Matter of fact, it's going to be the one right here where this wire this black wire is coming from is usually supposed to be red and black But a matter of fact, it's red and black and purple my fault. It's black and purple wire You want to stick it in the top of that one? If I can get my lead in there But you want to put that one on there and you want to take the black wire and put it on the ground Which is going to put it on the negative side of the battery so I'm going to set this up right quick. I'm going to loosen this up. And you also want to leave the car in the on position. So I'm going to put the key in the ignition and uh, turn it on. Don't turn the car on, but leave it in the on position. That way uh, you can have some readings on your meter. So I'm going to set the meter up right quick and I'm going to turn the car in the on position. And I'm going to set this camera up right quick while I do all that. So now I finally got my uh, TPS sensor in spec now. I got it to 0.54. Uh, as you can see, I was on it a bit earlier. So now what I'm about to do is actually, I'm about to go ahead and start cutting this wire. Replace this one first. Since it's already uh, right here, I'm going to replace this one. And then the next one is right here at the bottom. It's all the way down there. But I'll show you when I get the flashlight. But it's literally hanging to the side on the side of this oil stick down there. Matter of fact, let's see if I can zoom in. Yep. Right there, looking at me. But I'm going to go in there, get that one next. First, I'm going to just do this one. So I'm going to take my, I think I got to sit right here. Here we go. This one, when I sit with two black wires, I'm going to just see if I can start it somewhere about like right here. I'm going to just cut these wires like right there somewhere and then replace them with these. And uh, get my shrink wrap, heat this up, uh, heat gun up there, and um. Yeah, I should be good. So I'm going to set this camera up somewhere and uh, let y'all see the process.
All right, so now I finally then got this one started up and back reconnected as you can see. I burned this wire a little bit with that heat gun a little bit, but it's okay. It didn't went through the wire, so that's the best part. So I got these reconnected. Hopefully, that's how it's supposed to be. If not, I can just always cut it off and restart it again. Now I gotta actually get into there, which will be kind of hard to cut that wire and start it out with because it's actually down there. But it's actually one wire, so and it's a little bit longer, so I got a little more play with this one. So what I'm gonna do is first just cut that one down there, take that top off. And um, make a little cut this strip this wire a little bit more, give me some more uh space at the end, and then I'm going to try to solder that as well and uh try to get that done. All right, so we back. I could not get this one on this side, and from some like that, it's like a tight area, so I'm gonna probably try to do that one another time or try to get under the car. But I got this one in, which goes right there. Uh, you probably can't even see it because it's glare, but it's the wire right here. It's up under there though, but I finally got that one in there. So now I'm about to just plug that tool back up, put the uh, manifold back on, the air intake back on, and um, I already got that set to the right thing. Now what I really gotta do is just put some gas in the car. And um, I think I should be trying to fire it up to see how I idle and see if it's running a little bit different and see how it runs. So I'm going to plug this back up, hook everything back up, get some gas for the car, put some gas in it. I don't know if I'm gonna start it tonight. If I don't start it tonight, this might be the end of the video. If I do, then it ain't. But if anything, most likely I'll start it up tomorrow once I get some more stuff put on it and everything and let you guys see how it runs. But until then, I'm about to put everything back together and I'll catch you guys when I'm done. All right. So what's the next day? As you can see, I didn't do it last night, but I got everything tightened up. Make sure everything was how it's supposed to be. Uh, I still got to figure out how to get to that sensor down there. Uh, but I'm going to probably figure it out once I take those... Um, exhaust manifolds out because probably the only way I can do it because this bar is actually in the way so once I take the exhaust manifolds off and replace the exhaust I may be able to get to that sensor but it's up for now I'm going to just try running it because hopefully I just want to get to throw the resistor sensor really back to spec that's the only thing I really wanted to do mainly and replace those sensors so I can have it idling at the right uh, idle because it was idling very high so I'm going to try giving it a crank see if it starts Let's actually see if the car starts. Let's see if we got some voltage. So we got some voltage. So let's see. All right. Let's try something else. I wonder what does that mean. started it and it actually cut on what I think I got to do is and I can hear it I don't even got no vacuum leak no more which is great but my CPS sensor has to be adjusted a little bit more because I can tell that it's running a little funny right now it's almost where it need to be but I gotta adjust this a teeny bit more and it should be good to go. So I'm going to let it warm up. But I think that's where it should be or it's close to it. I'm going to give it some gas and then see how it sounds from the front. might be a good idol for it. I don't know. Let me close this down right quick and move it up. But it really sounds like it's back at the right idol. Because I put it at 
Oh yeah, this is much better. This is much better. Yeah, this is much better. I can hear it. So now that I got it running at a much, much better idle, I'm gonna check the spec again to make sure it's supposed to be that spec. But that's what it said on all the videos I looked up so far and everything I looked into. But it's running, it got the cam a little chopped a little bit back a little bit more now. So I know it's actually running at a good idle because when I bought the car, the dude said it had like a small street cam or something. And you can kind of hear it a little bit. but. But now the car is starting to idle. Way much, way better. So. I'm actually glad I got it running much better. No vacuum leak from there no more. Don't hear no air coming out. So that side is good. I'm happy about that. Now you can see it ripping back up to high idle.